NBA Hall of Fame center Shaquille O'Neal has played for several NBA franchises, including both Florida teams, the Orlando Magic, and Miami Heat. We can also add the Los Angeles Lakers, Cleveland Cavaliers, Phoenix Suns, and a couple of others just looking at one set of highlights for one of his three more prime stops of his career, which tell the tale. In an era that was more physical, more allowing of defenders, and not as ticky-tacky, for lack of better terms, Shaq was still the most physically dominating force on a basketball court anywhere, whereas current center of the Utah Jazz, Rudy Gobert, is one of the biggest dudes in an era of NBA basketball where there aren't many big players, though they are trying to come back just a bit. Shaq constantly played against other real-life giants. Enough of this soliloquy, though. You should see some of it for yourself or simply just go to YouTube and you can type in Shaquille O'Neal with the Lakers, Shaq with the Magic, or just whatever team he played for during his prime. Yeah, again, about what Gobert was saying. There's no way he could guard the Diesel correctly, let alone lock him up. Rudy Gobert wouldn't be able to be a seven foot center fielder if Shaq were in the league. He would have to come out and meet the man that was not only a tank, but a ballerina with his beautiful feet. That's the part that many fail to understand. His sheer size and strength were the main course, but the appetizer, surrounding side dishes and desserts were his nimble feet, a deft touch, and overwhelming skill for a man his size. He would literally break Gobert in half, just ask the Admiral, David Robinson, as Shaq did basically whatever he wanted with the San Antonio Spurs legend. Now, this is David Robinson we're talking about. David freaking Robinson. Rudy would stand no chance. Gobert stands no chance with Shaq or any center that was in the league before 2006. Sorry, Rudy. This is not a knock on your game. You're a pro in the NBA that has great defense. But please, don't get carried away. It's turning into a pretty hilarious feud, and it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. With O'Neal retired from the NBA and Gobert having the rest of the playoffs off, both individuals should have plenty of time to add fuel to their beef in the coming months if they choose to. O'Neal's legacy certainly can be questioned as he accomplished plenty. During his NBA career, he racked up 15 All-Star selections, two scoring titles, one MVP award, and four NBA championships. As for Gobert, he's hoping to one day have a similar legacy. Right now, he's a three-time All-Star who's known best for his dominance on the defensive end of the floor. The 29-year-old owns three Defensive Player of the Year awards. Despite becoming a perennial playoff team, the Utah Jazz haven't been able to get over the hump in recent years to make any deep postseason runs. As a result, Gobert's future with the organization is a bit murky right now. Time will tell how everything plays out.